let's discuss the field of geology. Today the geologists, they tell us that the earth we live on, the outer crust, it's hard and solid. And the deeper layers, they're hot and fluid and inhospitable for the existence of living creatures. The geologists tell us that the outer crust is very thin, hardly 1 to 10 miles. Less than 1% of the radius of the earth, which is 3,750 miles. And the outer crust is very thin and there are high possibilities of it shaking. Today geologists tell us it's due to the folding phenomena which gives rise to mountain ranges. And these mountains, they prevent the earth from shaking. They act as pegs, as stakes. The Holy Quran says in Surah Naba, chapter 78, verse number 6 and 7, it says, We have made the earth as an expanse, was Jabal Autada, and the mountains as stakes. The Arabic word Autad means stakes, means pegs, which we have discovered today. The Holy Quran says in Surah Jashia, chapter 88, verse number 19, as well as in Surah Naziat, chapter 79, verse number 32. It says, Wal Jibala Arsaha, we have made the mountains standing firm. There's a book by the title, The Earth, which is a very famous book, an authority in this field, which is referred by most of the universities throughout the world in this subject. One of its authors' name is Frank Press. And he gives the illustration of the mountain in this book called Earth as wedge shaped. And he says, the function of the mountain is to stabilize the Earth's crust. And Quran says that the same information in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 31, as well as in Surah Luqman, chapter 31, verse number 10, and Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 15, that we have set on the earth mountains standing firm lest it would shake. The Quran gives the functions of the mountain 1400 years ago which we discovered today.